Staying on. Good. Hello, viewer. My name is Nicholas D. My YouTube name, as you probably know, but if you're blind, then my name is New York Gaming on YouTube. That's what I'm really known as on YouTube. Um. Uh, my goodness. My brain, your brain must be connected to my body, because that's probably what you're thinking right now. But, don't worry. This is going to be an interesting story, and we're all going to have fun, and we're going to have a great time! And boys, you kill the town. You want to hear it, right? No, you don't. I right, better leave. Wait, you do, because you clicked on this video, dumbass. So, here we go. So it all started back ten months ago. I heard that you can make money on YouTube, and I really want to support my family, because, hey, I'm growing up. When you're growing up, you really want to support your family, you want to feel, like, useful, you know? So, that's the real reason why I started YouTube, that's one of the real reasons why I started YouTube. Another was because I had so much creativity, like, like, and I, I really dreamed of being a YouTuber, like, for years. Like, I would even, like, rehearsed, like, in front of a non-existent camera. I recorded scenes on, like, my old Mac, uh, like, of, and I never even uploaded them, but they were just kind of, like, home videos, where I recorded myself playing games. I didn't screen record. I didn't know how to screen record. I just knew that people like Dan TDM knew how to screen record, so all I could do, what I did know how to do, was screen was record with my camera which is what I'm doing now and I obviously still know how to do that like who doesn't know how to record on a camera unless you don't know that I am such a captain obvious right now but over time I had gained more and more subscribers and eventually I was like flabbergasted ecstatic when I hit 10 subscribers. I had to make a special movie for 10 subscribers. Once I hit 10 subscribers, I was like, wow. My channel back then didn't have much views. It only had, my entire channel only had 5, 5, not 5,000, no, it doesn't even have 5,000 now. My channel used to have 500 channel views, 534 probably to be exact. Um... Now my channel is 3,000, and that's, so yeah, that's 3,000 compared to 500 before. Oh my goodness, I'm tired, sorry. But, yeah, so, and then I hit 20 subscribers, and I was flabbergasted again, and then 30, and flabbergasted, 40, and flabbergasted, and then once I hit 50, which I'm three away from hitting 50, I'm going to be flabbergasted, I know. Like, Oh, am I, am I using the term flabbergasted right? I don't even know. And I've been with you through 180 videos. Think about that for a second. 180. That's 180 videos. That's like... So many. I mean... Yeah, that is a lot. 160. 160 of anything is a lot. Or pretty much anything. Now, atoms, it would be like very small. If you put 160 atoms in a round ball, it'd be very small. Even a million. But that, but we're not here to talk about science. We're not, bleh, sorry, we're not here to talk about words or dictionaries or definitions or science or science or social studies or math. We're here to talk about Carlos Squad Rewind 2019. Aren't we? I'm probably boring. You. I'm boring myself, so. How did I get my friends to get on YouTube? Or, how did I get my friends to make a uh, harder life YouTube? Well, here's how I did with Dom, the boss, Dominic R, and, and Bruce, uh, 9090 over. I'll um, put their channels um, at the end. You'll be able to see them. This way, yeah, you'll be able to see them this way or this way. I don't know. All right, my camera is backwards. 
But here's how I got them to start. So it all really started in like seventh grade and summer school. And I was like talking about YouTube 24 7. And, and I would like push them. I would push Dom and I would push Bruce to to upload to YouTube like pretty much like every day. And I would talk about um, all the views and stuff and all the subscribers and and Dominic would tell me that you need to have a hundred thousand subscribers to earn money from YouTube. I don't know if that's true or not, but you know. Ah! Right. So let me know in the comments if that's true. Actually, please. Um so Lunar. Let's talk about Lunar too. How I got her to continuously do it. Again, it was really the same thing what I did with Dom and what I did with Bruce. I put I like uh, not push would be the word. I encouraged rather yeah, encouraged her to um to upload to YouTube continuously and so that you get more and more views. And, and and me and her, we would talk about YouTube a lot as well. We still talk about YouTube a lot. Me and Dom talk about YouTube a lot. Me and Bruce, not really, because um, Bruce, um, well, unfortunately, doesn't really do YouTube anymore. He's getting bored with it. And that's fine. I mean, hey, life isn't just doesn't just revolve around YouTube. There are many other things that you can do in life. So... And I think, like, Lunar has, um, if you saw the sorry, uh, I'm quitting video that she made, um, she said, uh, that she didn't want to do YouTube anymore. And that's, again, totally understandable. You, like, every, there are 7 billion people on this entire planet. Some don't even know what YouTube is. So, so 7 billion people on the entire planet. Not all of their lives want to revolve around YouTube. There's probably, like, billions, probably, at this point, like, that don't even want to do YouTube. They want to be an actor. They want to be, uh, what's the word? A construction worker. They want to be an engineer. They want to own a corporation. They want to make their own social media site. So... That's fine, I mean, like, remember, not all of our lives revolve around YouTube, but part of mine does. I'm not, it doesn't define me personally, I'm not, I shouldn't be defined as a YouTuber 100%, no, I'm way more than just a YouTuber. I'm colorful, I'm creative, I'm passionate about my beliefs, so... And the things I believe in, I'm a firm believer. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, um, who else? Oh yeah, my mom! Divine Source Beauty. So, it was really more of her thing. She has a different story. It was really more of her thing, like, you know, because she, she knew that you could get views on YouTube and they were like, and her favorite videos, like, back at that time, because we were going to Dame and Buster's, like, uh, over, because we had, like, a school break and stuff, so we were going to Dave and Buster's, um, uh, pretty, like, we went, like, like, four times during the week, so she really liked, uh, Dave and Buster's Call Machines videos of some, Spa from some Spanish YouTuber or something. Anyways, so, she wanted to record because she thought that, you know, we could get a lot of views. And I guess, like, 34 people, that's her most viewed video. 34 people, that's a lot of views. There's a lot of views. 34 views is a lot. So, yeah. That's the story of my mom. Divine Source Beauty. And here's the story of my laptop needs charging. Find me.
It turns out it didn't need charging, it was on a charger. Righty. So, how was your day? Good, huh? I bet. I bet it was. Oh, you want me to continue telling the story instead of being weird, huh? Yeah, that's probably a good call, you're right. So, what about my other social medias? Well, my belief on YouTube was that what I, well, or not really believe, but what I really wanted for my YouTube channel, the base of my part on the internet, was to make at least three social media platforms that this guy was on. So it first started out as this it was Facebook and Twitter. Now, Facebook is the one that lasted the longest, the social media platform that lasted the longest uh, for New York Gaming. However, um, in November, I did um, delete that because Facebook um, was getting to be too much. Um, what that means is... Um, it was really just getting to be too much because... Like, it was a distraction, I felt like, I'm like, because it was even more distracting than YouTube, honestly, was whenever I was doing schoolwork. And I felt like I was just sharing too much, and my family kept on looking at it too much and stuff, so. That's why I quit Facebook. Now I have all this stuff saved onto my computer. I had to really just delete it. I couldn't do that deactivating crap. Nah, no, I, I needed a fresh beginning. I needed to delete it. That's just what had to happen. I didn't, I didn't feel like deactivating it would have been right. I had to delete it. I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry actually. In fact, in fact, I'm very proud that I deleted it. I'm proud. I ain't gonna apologize to no one. Except for the people that are on the social gamer, and that for all three of my followers that are on the social gamer. So sorry for the inconvenience. But so what's the story of my in and then my, I, my Twitter? The thing was I I tried linking as many things to my other social medias as possible. However, in my experience on YouTube, I now know that that is not the best idea. The reason for that is because um that it get, th the accounts interact with each other and it gets annoying for your viewers what do I mean by that? <sighs> yawn that's what I mean no what I really mean is that like for example when I linked my Twitter to my YouTube it would always say whenever I liked the video so and that was getting annoying so my Twitter was just piling up and piling up and piling up with all these tweets all these automated tweets of all the videos that I left likes on on YouTube and I was getting really annoyed I had even made a tweet on my old uh, Twitter account saying why does it keep spamming tweets like that it's annoying and I angry face okay how do I do this yeah. Frown. There we go, that's good enough. So, that's the post I made on Twitter, I feel like deleting it. And then, that's how I came across Instagram, which I have not deleted yet. So, that's good. Hopefully, I never will have to delete it. Um, <sighs> because that would be very, 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 very annoying. Just because. Right. So. Um. 
Because I don't know what I would have to come back to. I wouldn't. If I had to delete Instagram, I would say I would definitely come to Reddit. Uh, and I'd create my own community. I'd hire a moderator. I'd hire a damn good moderator with a community that has um, at least uh, a thousand members on it. Um, I would hire him to make sh to keep everything in order. I'd hire a bunch of moderators with communities with a thousand members if I was on Reddit. And I'm actually thinking of coming on Reddit because I don't need to post anything on there and it doesn't have to be like a constant thing. I'll look at it every now and then. But, you know. I would look at it every now and then. If I was on Reddit, which I'm not. But you know what? Who cares? So. Anyways. What else? What else is there to tell, honestly? Um. I think that's pretty much all there is to tell. Yeah. That, everyone, is the tale of New York Gaming and the Cuddle Squad all together. That's what I like to call the YouTube group here. There's no such thing as like a YouTube, like a social group that featured that YouTube's edit. But I like to call it the YouTube group. Don the Boss, 9090 Over, Winner Gasha, Divine Source Beauty, and yours truly. So, you're a gaming. So, uh, yeah, that is a tale of the Cuddle Squad. That's a tale of New York Gaming, Don the Boss, 9090 Over, Winner Gasha, and Divine Source Beauty. So, yeah, that's basically all there is to tell. I'm glad that you stayed here for this long, and hopefully my watch time raises till the end. Um, thank you so much for watching the Cuddle Squad Rewind 2019. I am New York Gaming. I am Nicholas D. This is New York Gaming. You're watching Color Squad 2019. And thank you. Uh. Did you know that I'm the bad guy? Well, duh.